Hey everybody, uh, thanks for checking out part two of my review video of all the games that I am just absolutely stoked about. Um, by the way, this is MP Diddy. Um, let's get into it right away. With <laughs> one of the, uh, the most bizarre, um, one of the best things about E3 is when they announce a new game that we didn't even know about. And let me tell you, when they started showing gameplay for this, it was... It, it, I didn't know what I was watching, but I was loving it. And then when it came up on the end of the trailer, and it said open world, and it had all these different vehicles, and it was showing everything, and then it popped up and said, Ghost Recon Wildlands? That was amazing. So yes, the game is Ghost Recon Wildlands, and it's the first open world... Ghost Recon, I'm, man, Ghost Recon is my franchise, I love that game, and I, I, I loved Advanced Warfare, I, I mean, I, I loved Advanced Warfighter, I loved Advanced Warfighter 2, loved Future Soldier, I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I liked Future Soldier, I thought it was well done, and this one being open world, and that you're like, you know, part of the underground, you know, cartel force where you're trying to take down the evil drug cartels, man. It looks brutal, it looks violent, it looks very gritty, and it looks amazing, awesome, and just in your face, just amazingness. Um, the shooting is just the same as every Ghost Recon it's ever had, but it's more fast-paced, more, you know, gotta be more responsive because it's an open world. But it seems like a lot of different places you can go, jungles, rivers, forests, deserts, uh, you know, outskirts cities, plains, I mean, it, you can fly up in the air, you know, the first part of the trailer was him jumping out with a parachute, it looks really cool, I'm uh, definitely invested in it, uh, I can't remember exactly when it comes out, but uh, thank you Ubisoft for announcing that, because that was a great uh, surprise, and was very happy about it, um, another game, that Ubisoft announced that was a shocker um, was called For Honor. For Honor looks incredible, and I'm sure it's going to come out in late 2016, but it looks really neat. It's the first, in my opinion, I've never seen it before. I've never seen anything like it. It's a multiplayer game. I don't know if it has single player, but they showed off only the multiplayer, where you can choose to be a samurai, a knight, or a viking. And you bust out uh, towards the other team, and you actually, you know, go into, you know, sword fights. And, but it's really contextual, you know, like you have to, when you're in the middle of the fight, it, you use the joystick to press which way you're going to, you know, block. And you have to pay attention to your opponent, which is really cool. And you're going to have other ones, you know, coming up and trying to kill you, too. It's gonna be a wild multiplayer match. I'm I'm very stoked to see more about this. Um, from what they showed about it, it's just you know our fantasy. You know, samurais and knights. You know, just killing each other, man. It looks so cool. Not much I can tell about it. Just that the visuals were really great. The gore was really great. I mean, one of the takedowns was the dude slammed down on in this guy's shoulder, and then he had to struggle to pull it out, and then he swung around and cut the guy's head off. I was like, oh my gosh, that was, wow, that was brutal. Um, but yeah, that would be a game that I'll be looking into. Okay, uh, next on my list is Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is coming, and uh, I wasn't a big fan of the Rainbow Six uh, games until Vegas too. And uh, I really liked Vegas too. I thought it was fun. Um, loved the the idea of the third and first person switch around. Um, it really made for an innovative gameplay, um, which actually a lot of games have taken from it, which is great. You know, um, it was it, it looks great. It looks very very close quarters combat. Um, apparently, there's a game mode coming back uh, called Tarot Hunt, and uh, it's where you versus the terrorists, and it's just, and you have to defuse a bomb, and it's, you, you only get one life, so it makes things really hectic, and apparently it's a, you versus an AI team, and they said that the AI is some of the hardest AI they've ever created, it will 
be unresponsive. You won't know what they're going to do next, what they're going to plan next. They are going to be as smart as anything. I just hope they don't make him as smart as uh, the alien on <laughs> on uh, Alien Isolation because that thing is smart. I never want an AI like him again. He scared the crap out of me. All right. Uh, the Division. Now, everybody's been hearing about this. I mean, everybody's been talking about The Division. Everybody's been like, okay, it's been like two years since you announced it. Were we going to see any more, see a release date? Yes, there is a release date. It is going to be early 2016, if I'm not mistaken, February of 2016. So, guys, I know you got to remember Valentine's Day with your girl, but you got to also remember that The Division comes out in February. Um. So I'm very excited about that game. It's, it looks really great. It's a you know kind of reminds me a lot of Ghost Recon, except you know it's open world and uh, it's got a way more peeled into idea of RPG, where you're going to be building your guns and bringing them back up. Uh, you play as a you play as a group of uh, I guess special agents for the um, uh, for the government, for whenever there's a terror task force, um, and you're supposed to figure out where this containment came from, where this virus came from that everybody is dead from, and try to contain it as much as you can. Uh, it's what I've gathered from it, but it's a it's 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 a it's a moderate online MMO, um, but with consoles, I mean, I know PC is the, the MMO master of all the stuff, but, you know, for consoles, it is going to be considered an MMO, and it looks really great. Um, definitely psyched, psyched to play it. Definitely. <laughs> I was kind of surprised that they showed this at E3, um, because it's coming so soon, uh, next uh, Tuesday, Monday night, for the people who are major fans and are going to be going and getting it midnight release like this guy <laughs> i'm so excited i can't believe it dude batman arkham knight is a less than a week away mm, i'm so excited i can't contain it it's gonna be so great first m-rated batman game so we're gonna see a lot of violence a lot of mature rated content which i'm really excited because i've been waiting for a batman game that does that or a batman movie that does that um and, uh, you know, you're going to be able to play as Harley Quinn if you pre-order it from GameStop. You get to play as uh, uh, Red Hood if you pre-order it from GameStop. Uh, you get to play as Nightwing, Robin, Batman, Batgirl if you get the season pass. I mean, man, dude. And they're all going to have alternate outfits. They're all going to have alternate, uh, you know, stuff. They're, they're, they're all going to have their own fighting moves, their own storylines. It's so cool. Uh, I mean, of course, we're going to play as Batman. I mean, he has over 50 outfits. I think they, they announced it today. It was 52. Um, so 52 outfits for Batman. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 30 in between uh, Nightwing and Robin's outfits. So, which, that's pretty cool. You know, that that's really neat. Um, the fighting is exactly the same as, as all the other Arkham's, except... This time you can actually use weapons. I, I saw in the middle of a gameplay trailer he was fighting, and he broke this dude's arm and jacked his uh, his baseball bat, his metal baseball bat, and he just kept he would hit people in these really weird ways, and he just he had that satisfying cling 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 cling, you know, from the from the uh, metallic bat, which was which was awesome, you know. I was like Batman with a baseball bat, y'all better run. <laughs> But it was great. I was I was I was very excited about it. And then, oh my God, when he throws that beacon down and he drops down with his with his wings and he drops down and lands and the Batmobile comes out of nowhere and he jumps up as it slides underneath him and he lands in the cockpit and it just it's off. That is all contextual gameplay and it looks so well done. I'm definitely gonna be doing a Twitch stream about it. Um, so I'm very excited about that game. Uh. Wanting to see how the storyline concludes. I've played all of the Arkham games. Uh, only thing I'm hoping for is long... I mean, if they do it right, that's fine. But I really don't want Joker to show up. As much as I like Joker, 
they ended him pretty well in the second, in uh, Arkham City. So I, I really hope that it's another thing, and I just hope that, you know, we don't find out, like, the Arkham Knight was, like, Joker's clone or something. You know, that's that's something I'm, I'm really hoping I'm not going to see. But we'll see. You know, I don't think that they're going to go that route. But, like I said, we'll see. Things happen in games that we can't control. All right. Oh, this game. <laughs> this game. Star Wars Battle Front. It has been 13 years since we've had a Star Wars Battlefront. And we've all been crying silently in our corners with our lightsabers and with our Stormtrooper helmets and our Darth Vader action figures and just been sitting there hoping for another Battlefront. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that Star Wars Battlefront is coming back this year, and it's coming back in a big, big way. And I know I'm so excited because my voice can't control its volume. No, but really, Star Wars Battlefront is coming back. EA is doing it this time. Most importantly, DICE is doing it this time. Now, I don't care what anybody says. DICE can do a very good multiplayer game. Anyway, they showed gameplay for it uh, at E3, and it blew me away. It was so great. It was it was exactly what us Star Wars fans have been begging for and have been wanting for. It it the the shooting mechanics, the fighting mechanics, um, the way you can switch in between first and third person. And I don't know if anybody here has seen the gameplay footage. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Those thermal detonators when they set them down, when they threw that thermal detonator, and all of a sudden you you see the you hear all the, the, the sound go away, like it sucks all the sound into it, and it goes, and it just makes this ginormous explosion, snow goes everywhere, parts go everywhere from metallic pieces, and oh, man, DICE, keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing it proper. Um, they used, uh, they showed the TIE Fighters, they showed the X-Wings, they showed everything that was coming from this game, and it was... I have to be honest, it brought a little tear to my eye. It was incredible. I was blown absolutely away. Um, and, you know, they are, they're bringing back my, my favorite franchise from when I was a kid. Used to get off of school all the time, uh, come home from uh, middle school, and I would play the absolute heck out of this game. And now here I am, 23 years old, about to get the reiteration of my childhood game for my generation now. Nothing better than that, people. Trust me, that game's going to be pre-ordered and in my hand on that midnight release, and I will do my best to make sure that happens. <laughs> All right. Um, that concludes this part. I'm going to do a part three. i uh, still got a lot of games to go through, so stick with me because I'm a, a game lover, and there's not many I don't like. All right? Peace.